Hello, my name is Mary Chidella Serna and I'm instructor here at Angelus Institute. Welcome to our Sims Lab. Today, I will be demonstrating how to properly check a pulse rate. For this skill, you will need to make sure you have a secondhand watch. Now always remember, before and after every procedure, you will need to wash your hands. First, you would want to inform your client of any site that you will be measuring their pulse. There are several sites you can take the pulse. Your carotid, your apical, radial, femoral, popliteal, your posterior tibial, and your dorsalis pedis. Today, we will be taking the radial pulse. Now, things to consider before taking the pulse. You would want to ask your client a few questions. Are you taking any medications that can alter your pulse rate? No. Do you have any heart complications? No. Have you exercised within the last 30 minutes? No. Have you had any caffeine within the last 30 minutes? No. And your age is? 45. Also, a change in position, which would be lying to sitting and sitting to standing. Now, any of these can alter the reading. Now, let's begin. Place your index and middle fingers on the inner aspect of your client's wrist, right above their radial artery. Apply light but firm pressure until the pulse is palpated. Flex the patient's elbow and place lower arm across their chest. Support the wrist by grasping the outer aspect with your thumb. Assess the client's pulse for rhythm and regularity. If the rhythm is irregular, you will want to stop taking the radial pulse and take the apical pulse instead. With an irregular pulse, you will feel a skip in the rhythm. Now using your second hand watch, count the pulse rate for a full minute. Record your findings, and don't forget to wash your hands after your procedure. And that's how you properly check a pulse rate. Thank you for watching Angelus Institute Sim Lab. Goodbye.